In this video, we will explain a molecular technique called microarray. We will explain the concepts behind microarrays and you will go through a lab simulation where you will see how the technique works and you will analyze a potential result for breast cancer tissue compared to normal breast tissue. Microarray can allow a researcher or a medical worker compare which genes are expressed in different cell types or in cells under different environmental conditions. This can be used to help in the prognosis and personal treatment of diseases. Cancers tend to be very different in each individual, so determining which genes are expressed can help with individualized therapies. Remember that when a gene is expressed in a cell, mRNA is synthesized. This is called transcription. This mRNA is an intermediate molecule that can be transported out of the nucleus, where the DNA is stored and then translated into protein, which are the molecules that make each cell type unique and actually do the work of the cell. In this activity, mRNA was extracted from breast cancer tissue as well as from normal breast tissue so that we can see which genes are expressed. To visualize these, a DNA copy is made of this mRNA using an enzyme called reverse transcriptase, producing cDNA. A label is added to the cDNA during its synthesis, so it's easy to, to differentiate. For the tumor tissue, we have a red label, and for normal tissue, a blue label. In the example images, this will appear as green. The red and green labeled cDNA are mixed together and used for our microarray analysis. So what we have is a mixture of all the mRNA expressed in breast cancer, reverse transcribed to cDNA, and labeled red and all the mRNA expressed in normal breast tissue reverse transcribed to cDNA and labeled blue. We know that cancer is a result of many mutations, which result in a difference in gene expression. We expect that there will be a difference in the red labeled cDNA compared to the blue labeled cDNA. But how can you see this difference? You will use a microarray to see this difference. Microarrays come in chips or in slides and can have up to tens of thousands of DNA corresponding to known genes. You will use a slide with 50 genes known to be involved in cancer. This DNA of the 50 genes on our microarray can hybridize or bind to with a single-stranded labeled cDNA, such that you will be able to see if a gene is upregulated in breast cancer because more of the red labeled cDNA hybridized to those genes, or if it is downregulated in breast cancer because more of the blue labeled cDNA hybridized to those genes. What will we see if genes are expressed in both tissue types, neither upregulated or downregulated? Let's see what will happen. Here's our microarray slide. You can see the spots which contain our known DNA, which can be involved in cancer cells. Here is our cDNA mix where we have a combination of cDNA from breast cancer tissue and cDNA from normal breast tissue. Now we'll go through the lab simulation and go through the protocol. First, the cDNA mix is added to the slide and allowed to sit for five minutes. After the 5 minute incubation, the cDNA is washed with microarray wash solution. This is a very low concentration detergent and salt solution to wash off any nonspecific hybridization. Then we add the color reagent solution. This will react with our labeled cDNA so that we can see the blue and red of these labels. Let this incubate for 30 seconds and again wash away with microarray wash solution. As you can see, there are 6 genes which are red and therefore upregulated in breast cancer tissues and 5 genes which are blue and therefore downregulated in breast cancer tissues. The purple spots indicate that genes are expressed in both normal and breast cancer tissues. You can fill in the colors of each spot on the worksheet. In practice, the colors will fade, 
So it is recommended that when you are doing this in person, you fill in the red and blue spots first and then fill in the, the purple spots. Then take a look at the list of genes which were represented on this slide and highlight the upregulated as well as the downregulated genes. You can search each of these genes and read more about how they function in normal tissues versus how they function in cancer cells.